bees are disappearing. Over the last three years on Vancouver Island alone, the number of commercial honeybee colonies dropped by over 80%. That's a huge loss and a, a really huge problem. Not just because it means less local honey, but it also means less local food. We depend on, on pollinators, like bees, to pollinate a third of all of the food we eat. And bees provide 90% of that pollination. Can you see the connections? So less bees means less pollination. Less pollination means less food, like fruits, less vegetables, less cocoa, and even less coffee, just to name a few. So because of this, the Environmental Youth Alliance runs a free beekeeping program for youth called Community Hive. We give young people hands-on experience with organic beekeeping in this program. And most importantly, it gets people passionate about caring for bees and protecting bee habitat, such as this beautiful community garden we're in. There are more than 25,000 species of bees worldwide. Not just honeybees, there are all kinds of native bees, and some of them are actually endangered. Native bees are really important for natural ecosystems, and they need native plants to survive. Through the Environmental Youth Alliance, we have a project called Planning for Pollinators. We're working to build bee gardens all around the city of Vancouver for native bees. The Pollinator Assessment Squad is actually a group of youth that volunteer their time and they go out and they learn about bees by actually studying them using scientific methods to track them over the city. So right now we have a couple of great spots for bees in the city. We also have lots of space that could potentially be better for bees, but they're just scattered all over the place. The Nectar Trail is a program where we're trying to connect those spaces so that bees don't have to travel a huge amount of distance. So if we can make those spaces smaller for them, then we connect a whole network of bees and they can have greater biodiversity in cities. Bee gardens are so important and they're so easy to do. I mean, everybody loves flowers and bees, this is their food. At the Environmental Youth Alliance, we see firsthand the positive benefits that come with ecological gardening projects. With bee gardens, people can make connections between personal nutrition, local ecology, and the natural histories of their own community.